Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to take a look at simplifying ratios. And I'm going to go through four examples with you in order to help you get this down. So let's take a look at number one here, where we have a ratio of four to 12. Now simplifying ratios, it is exactly like simplifying fractions. We need to find the greatest common factor between the two numbers of the ratio, divide both those numbers by the greatest common factor, and you get a simplified ratio. So for example, number one, like we talked about, we have a ratio of four to 12. So what's a number that can go into both four and 12? And you want the greatest. So two can go into both four and 12, but there's something greater than two, and it's four. We can divide four by four and 12 by four. So if we do that, four divided by four and 12 divided by four, we end up with one to three. That would be our simplified ratio. For every one of something, there would be three. And that is equivalent to four to 12. Now, ratios can be set up as fractions with the first number, that four would be your numerator, and the 12 would be your denominator. So if you're more comfortable setting it up as a fraction and simplifying from that fractional form, feel free to do so, and then you can just change it back to whatever um, way you need to write the ratio. So we would divide both by four here and get one to three, and then you could just rewrite it one to three if that's the form you need to put it in. So let's take a look at number two, 21 to 14. So common factor between the two would be seven, and that's your greatest common factor. So let's divide both of them by seven, and we get three to two. Number three, Greatest common factor between 20 and 15 would be five. So let's divide both of them by five. And we end up with four to three. Or again, like we did in number one, if you wanna set it up fractional form and simplify, that is perfectly fine. And we get the same answer. It's just in fractional form. So we can always convert it back to whatever form you need to put it in. And then number four, we're going from a picture, oranges to strawberries. So two oranges, right? Two, one, two, three, four strawberries. Greatest common factor between two and four is two. So divide both of them by two and we get one to two. For every one orange, there are two strawberries. And if we take a look, our picture will match. For every one orange, two strawberries. One orange, two strawberries. So there you have it. There's simplifying ratios. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.